finish line! It's Saturday morning, that means time to finish the first wind daily edition. I already have my cup of tea, so let's go. It's Saturday evening. Today there was no wind and that was good because I needed to give my body a break. So today I worked on the first edition of Wind Life and it has been published online. So this will be in the second part. Hopefully tomorrow there will be some wind. Good morning, it's Sunday morning and that means get out of bed and let's start running. Wow, what can I say? It still feels very early. But good thing is, it's really nice and quiet. Still running. What are you doing, guys? I'm running through the jungle. Wow, cool. So nice. Even though it's only 18 degrees, it still felt pretty warm, but it was a nice run. I've been doing uh, seven kilometers and I just uploaded it to my phone. The average heart rate was only 123 with a maximum heart rate of uh, 148. So that means I stayed in zone one and two. So uh, not too bad to start the day. And I heard there was already a bit of wind. That means in the afternoon, there might be a possibility for a session. I also like to reply to all your comments in the morning. Uh, one of the questions I had today from René Ruigrok. I'm using a 1300 Superflyer foil and is this style of sailing and he means the slalom Tim and I were doing in the wind life video. Is it also possible with this big surface area? Well René, it might work for practice in the beginning but as soon as you want to compete, you definitely want a slalom foil. The slalom foil front wing starts somewhere around 800 square centimeters and go as small as 350 square centimeters or even smaller. The reason behind it is that slalom is a downwind race in which you round a few boys jibing onto the finish. And it's a high speed chase. That means that you want as less drag as possible and the 1300 Super Flyer foil is really nice and stable but it's just not fast enough to compete. So I think that once you really are serious about joining slalom races you absolutely need a slalom foil. If you are a windy just like I am you probably regularly check the weather forecast, especially when you hear the trees whistle, you know there might be a chance to go out on the water. And I'm just checking Windgoo at my local spot and it says 10 to 16 knots. And that means I feel like wing foiling today. Let's pack the gear and be on my way. Well, that was another really nice one. I did uh, 29 kilometers in one, and one hour 24 minutes with an uh, average speed of uh, 21.7 and a top speed of 43.1 on an F8 
800 free ride foil. Initially the wind was too light but it picked up so I could practice those railies and I had a few nice ones I think. So uh, I hope I caught it on camera. This time I didn't forget my GoPro but there were also some others who took photos and made a few videos. So Helen and Jasper Sliggers, thanks so much for the videos. Hey. It's Monday already, it has been quite busy this morning. I've been doing all kinds of stuff that I needed to do, filling paperwork, work in the house, and of course answering uh, some questions, responding to comments on the videos. And I hope this afternoon I can hit the water. Another day with a light wind forecast, but hey, the sun is shining, the wind is out, let's take that shot. 10 to 60 knots is absolutely good for foiling. Wing session. I like it. The wind looks pretty good. Uh, we just pumped up our five square meter wings and we're about ready to go. <laughs> it was a bit light in the beginning but it picked up slowly the 5.0 should have been a 6.0 but hey it did we window, so. did we have fun yeah it was good and i'm tired so. you are tired yeah. how long have you been wing foiling almost two hours almost two hours yeah. oh one and all okay that's not too bad for a monday right If I look back at the statistics, I did uh, almost 32 kilometers and a top speed of 42.7. And let's now get the footage of my uh, GoPro into my computer. So let's first remove the battery. And then the SD card. And slide it into the computer. And now I'll get all the lens caps off, open up the housing so it can dry a bit and I can use it again tomorrow if I need it. The great thing about this GoPro Max, the 360 cam, is that you have a complete picture of what's happening around you. But the downside is, you have the complete picture of what's happening in all directions. Yo, you need to sort it out on the computer before or on your iPhone before you can post it. Tuesday morning, get out of bed and run. Typical Dutch summer weather. That means some drizzle cloudy skies and in the afternoon some wind yes yeah finish
baseline. Well, that was really nice. Temperatures of only 13 degrees when I got out of the door. And during the run, I think it was maybe 14 degrees in centigrade. But then again, perfect for running. I just downloaded my run onto my phone. I did 45 minutes, average heart rate was 127. That means zone one, although it felt like zone five, but maybe that's because of the time of day. And this afternoon, I hope I can go for a wind foil session. I just checked the forecast, wind basic around 10, gusts up to 17, maybe 18 knots. That means I'm gonna go with this beast again, wind foiling. The car is packed and as you can see behind me, there are also some wings in the car and because Isabel is joining me and she really wants to get that wing foil jibe in her system. I did 37 kilometers in one and a half hours or so and the maximum speed was only 47.2 kilometers an hour with an average of 23.1. The wind was shifty, light, patchy, gusty. This is really the big advantage of the foil. On days like these where the wind is just impossible, you can still have fun using a foil. After serve food. It's Wednesday, it's a rainy day and I've been working on the videos. Today for me it's a rest day, there isn't that much wind anyway so that's pretty good. I also got a question from one of you guys about the inflatable boards. They are quite interesting for windsurfing as well. I've used them on flat water, they perform pretty good. As soon as there is some chop, they have a bit harder time. You need more power to keep it planing. One of the concepts I also find interesting are the hybrid boards, uh, which are hard boards in the back and inflatable in the front. That means that you have a pretty small package, at least the size is probably reduced to half but you still have a hard board as well. I haven't tried them yet, but that might be a good solution to make it a transport friendly and still give that feeling of a hard board. Nothing beats homegrown veggies, so let's take out these snow peas over there and let's replace them by green beans. I've just removed all the old snow peas, taken out the weeds and most of the snails I hope. And now it's time to improve the soil and then plant those new green beans.
Now with a little luck, if the snails don't beat me to it and the deer leave those green beans alone in about two, three months, hopefully, we have fresh green beans from the garden. I almost feel guilty running. Isabel is quite sick and she's attached to her bed today, the whole day. And I've only seen her twice before like this. And we've been together since, since the stone age. So that doesn't happen that much. I was lucky to be able to stay home and I could help her out. To be able to care for her, I need to take care of myself as well. It's Friday, uh, Isabel was very sick yesterday and tonight she only just got a little bit of sleep. I think she slept for a few times, maybe half an hour and that's all. I'm really happy that uh, she's just a little bit better. She has been given some medicine by the doctor. She is uh, sleeping right now. Just arriving at the spot. It looks like there's a bit of wind. I had no goal for today. Just relax and have some fun. And I did. I did one speed run and the speed turned out to be 44.6 kilometers an hour. That's a new personal best on a free ride front wing. Wow. In wind life, I'll try to take you along on the real wind life. I was hoping for a windsurf session as well this week, but unfortunately, due to the fact that Isabel got this sick, I didn't want to leave home that much and that long. So I wanted to stay as close as possible to her as I could. So I'm gonna rush back to her now and I'm gonna finish the video. So that part two of wind life will be online i do hope you liked the second edition of wind life if you did of course please leave a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel of the windsurf coach and i hope to see you next time in the third edition of wind life or on the water